Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. So on uh, Friday, and rolled out through the weekend, Microsoft has issued a new update for Microsoft Edge. So it, the story behind the updates that we had in the last few days is that, first of all, there's an update that moved your um, Microsoft Edge browser to a version that was ending in 59. And then it updated to a version which was something like 63, which broke the browser for a lot of people. And it started giving me out of memory errors rather than giving you the possibility to move on. And so this was, of course, uh, a big problem because you couldn't go on the web and do anything. And they pulled the update, but if you were unfortunate to have it go through before they pulled it, you're stuck with that. So now they released a new update, which now ends at dot sixty six, and this new update fixes the flaw that gives out of memory errors. So uh, the new update now is going to work uh, with uh, the browser. So um, this is uh, something that um, I saw a lot of people having issues with. Um, it apparently the version ending in dot sixty three was never meant to be released. Uh, but anyways, uh, now the new version sixty six fixes the problem uh, where the out of memory actually came uh, because of the um, application or the the Windows Defender application guard kind of, of of security, where there was a verification um, on the web and uh, that actually blocked there. It was a bug that gave out the out of memory error, uh, but in reality is not. It was not out of memory. It's just really a bug that happened. So with uh, this new version dot sixty six, things should be fixed. Um, if you are stuck, if there's some problem, what I would recommend is if you are still having out of memory, uh, click on your Edge browser and leave it there for a few minutes. Uh, then shut it and restart it. Um, hopefully it applies the update by itself and at the restart, the browser will be back to normal. Um, for those that, um, I've, I've got a few people saying that they were not even able to go to the settings app to fix the, uh, the problem like I was showing. Um, I would probably recommend if you have the um, system restore on, on your system, do a system restore to uh, the day that the day before it happened, and then um, the browser will update again. But now it will update with a good update to a dot sixty six. So hopefully everybody is happy, and now things are back to normal. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.